I have said several times on my channel before in the past, and I have to say it again when it comes to this story. Y'all have to be careful who y'all are speaking to when it comes to these dating apps, because everyone is not who they portray themselves to be. There are a lot of people out here who have ulterior motives, and this person I'm about to talk about is no different. So meet Marcus Edwards, and he even has a, a name that he's been given. The Tinder Swindler is what they call him. But this guy used dating apps in order to lure his victims to rob them and most likely sexually assault them. And this is coming out of Detroit. So uh, to any of my people up in Detroit, if you are familiar with this story, please sound off down in the comments. Detroit police have arrested a man suspected of using Tinder and other dating apps to lure women to an apartment complex so he can get in their vehicles and rob them at gunpoint. Marcus Edwards, age 27, of Detroit has been formally charged in connection with two separate instances, according to authorities. Detroit Police Lieutenant Matthew Fulgenzi said officers were called February 7th to the Anthos Gardens apartment complex on East Outer Drive near Seven Mile Road. A woman told police that she had arrived at the complex to meet a man she interacted with on Tinder. The man had her go back to the corner of the apartment complex, she said. He entered her vehicle, pulled out a gun, and announced the robbery, the woman said. She fled from the area and called 911, which caused police to launch an investigation. Detroit officials poured over green light video from the apartment complex and surrounding areas and looked at crime mapping to determine a second armed robbery that happened on January 8th in the same location. In the January 8th case, the woman says she'd been robbed at gunpoint and sexually assaulted by a man she met on a dating app. The perpetrator in that case had the f same description as in the February 7th incident, according to Fugenzi. He lured them in with confidence to take them out on a date and take advantage of them. Investigators identified Edwards as the suspect and conducted an arrest and search operation on February 16th, they said. He was arrested while leaving the complex and officials seized a firearm from his apartment, according to authorities. Officials said Edwards typically stole rings and jewelry. Some of that property was found at the complex. Edwards has been formally charged in connection with the January 8th and February 7th instances. Fulgenzi said two additional cases in the area of Seven Mile Road and Outer Drive had been linked to Edwards. In both instances, women were targeted on a dating site and one was even attacked in the parking lot of a gas station. They are truly victims in this matter, Fulgenzi said. They went to these locations to meet someone. This day and age, it's often that people meet on dating sites. That's the way dating is going these days. And this is someone who took advantage of that system and preyed on these victims. Those two additional instances are under review and have been forwarded to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office. All four robberies happened on the street, with someone entering the women's apartment, I'm sorry, vehicles, and announcing a robbery almost immediately, Fulgenzi said. A firearm was used in each instance. Just reading that last part basically tells me this guy had a, 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 a foolproof system in place of what he was going to do and how he was going to do it. Especially since it shows that he did this on January 8th and on February 7th, like a month apart from each other at the same location and in the same fashion. So, like I said, this I could see that he's might get some first degree charges because this was definitely premeditated. Like he planned this out. This wasn't something he just decided to go ahead and just do on the spur of the moment because the two instances that they have were almost identical it's just with two different victims but yeah like i said y'all have to be very careful when it comes to these dating apps and not just the women but the men too because there's some women out here who are just as crazy and will do some underhanded stuff like this guy's doing maybe even worse you never know thankfully you know it didn't get to the point where he ended up killing any one of these women or both of them for whatever it is that you know what he um he wanted but like i said when it comes to these dating apps and you know things of that nature y'all have to be very careful when it comes to things like this that's why some people when they go on dates they a lot of people say if especially if it's a first date go in a well-lit area where there's a lot of people around in both of these instances 
it appeared like it was it appeared to me that it might have been dark and they were alone where there was nobody nearby. So you just have to be careful when it comes to locations in which you meet these individuals. Because remember, these people are complete strangers to you. You've only talked to them online. This guy was not on this dating app to meet anyone for a hookup. He was on the dating app fishing for victims to rob. And unfortunately, he was successful two times, but I don't think he'll be successful a third time. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. If you have not done so already, please hit the bell and make sure to have the notifications set to all. So you will be notified every time I upload a new video or go live.